state requirements, right? Now let me find a 5-1 C3 part. Okay. Other side of the Uh Yeah, so that goes everything that the Bible has been saying, man. Everything that we've been saying according to the Bible is true. Okay. And eventually they're gonna wanna outlaw the Bible. Okay? They're gonna <coughs> label the Bible as a terrorist document. And anybody that teaches out of the Bible to be terrorists. Yeah. That's what it's gonna come to very soon. Alright? You know they're gonna totally outlaw the Bible. Because the Bible uh, contradicts the ways of this world. The Bible condemns the ways of this world. The Bible condemns homosexuality, lesbianism, transgender, you know, bestiality, pedophilia, child sex rings, you know? They got child sex rings spread throughout all this whole world, man. You wanna know what happens to your children when they go missing? When they go missing, you can blame the white man. Blame the devil. He probably sold them, sold them overseas. Oh, what's that movie on um, with uh, Liam Neeson? What's it? Taken. Take it. That Take movie it. Taken, right? You think that don't exist? You think they just pulled that out of the air? Where uh, the dude's daughter got kidnapped and they, they sold her. She was all the way in a whole nother part of the world. Sold as what? A sex slave. Yeah, no, that still happens. That's that stuff is real, man. Now, you can blame Esau for the so-called devil for that. That's right. Now, t t check this out, right, brother? Now, this is another article. It says, now this is where LGBT and the gay motherfuckers are voting against churches if, um, that are voting, that vote against homosexuality. It says, today, in a stunning statement, Jerron Artery, chairman of Wyoming Equality, argued that churches who do not support same-sex marriage should lose their tax-exempt status. Wow. Churches that lobby to have freedoms and rights taken away from anyone should absolutely have their 501c3 status revoked. So there it is. Okay? Revoked. Brother, we've been saying this to the spirit for so fucking long for years. Hey, okay. That's why you do an IUIC, man. You better open your fucking eyes, man. You better open your eyes for it's too late, man. The Lord ain't playing. Yeah. You got a scripture out, right? Yeah. This is Isaiah 3 and 9. The show of their countenance doth witness against them, and they declare their sin as Sodom, they hide it not. Yeah, they declare their son, sin as Sodom, they hide it not, okay? Yeah. So you, got, you see, when we're in New York, man, you see all types of freaks walking up and down the street all day and all night, and they have no shame about them. It ain't back like in uh, the seven, in the seventies, uh, even in the eighties, man. Yeah, yeah, something called gay bashing and all that, because people weren't with that shit. You see, but now people are for it, you know. And now they're teaching, if I can piggyback yeah. on what you say. Now they're teaching children in kindergarten about same-sex marriages, man. Right. They're, they're programming your children now in these schools, man, yep. indoctrinating them so they accept it even more quickly, man, at a young age. There's no damn reason a kindergartner got to learn about homosexuality, man. You ain't supposed to teach no little kindergarten kids that madness, man. Fuck up their brains. You know, but that's showing you the white man, the so-called white man is the devil, man. That's why, that's why we always have to sign up, man. Only a devil would think of some shit like that. Yeah, but you people gonna learn when it's, when it's your children, you know, being taught that shit. You find out the horror. This is uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Let's talk about the so-called white man, man. He's being revealed now through us, through the prophets, that the Lord has set up. But eventually when the Lord comes back, he comes back with the heavenly angels and vehicles that you call UFOs, which are known in the Bible as the chariots of Israel, the chariots of God, when he comes back with the holy angels to, to, to uh, destroy and pass judgment on this earth, he's going to consume, he's going to consume the so-called white man's empires yeah. by fire, man. 
not just the nuclear fire, but them chariots, they're gonna be shooting fire. They're gonna be destroying parts of this place, man. Parts of the world. Yeah. Certain different major cities. No, in the army. He saw his army. Yeah. Or the whole army of NATO. Yep. Where we were, we got NATO. Yeah. Dragon. 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 Right here. Yahusha himself. Alright. We're gonna destroy him in one zap over there in the. Uh, yep. In Arm Armageddon. In the Valley of Jehoshaphat. Over there in the Fertile Crescent. Okay. So, Yahusha himself is gonna. He's gonna have a battle. Yeah, that's in the Middle East. Yeah. yeah. That's in uh, what was the second Ezra? That's in the Revelation, the twelfth, the twelfth chapter also. Okay. The Valley of, of the judgment, of decision. The Valley of decision, which is look where the Lord is gonna judge, the, uh, judge America, the armies of America. You see? Because he saw strength is his, uh, his what his military. That's his strength. It's his military might. Most of his budget, you know how they got the budget? They say uh, the budget uh, is too high and all that. Most of America's budget goes towards his military. Over half of it goes to the military. You see? Right. Okay. And military technology. They know Yahweh Shai is coming back and the angels are coming back in the so-called UFOs. So they have military, so they put a, dump in a lot of money in military programs. You watch movies like uh, Iron Man, um, the Iron Man suits, they really got that, the Iron Man suits. And these different weapons, yeah, yeah. photon yeah. beams and laser beams. He saw a guy all of that, man. Uh, what do they call it? Anti, um, anti-matter guns. Anti-matter guns. What's that? Okay. Anti-gravity uh, vehicles. Invisible suits. Huh? Invisible suits. They got all that, man. To go against the uh, low fire. But they even got cheetah bots that can run fast like cheetahs. Yeah, che yeah. yeah. The Terminators. Yeah. You see? Yeah, the robot Terminators, man. Yeah, yeah the cheetah bots, they can they can hop over this phone booth right here. Yeah, you ain't you ain't getting away from one of those, bro. You try to climb and hop over a fence, you got a dog that can't hop. You hop over a fence from a dog, you straight. It's a dog. Them fucking things, they'll run through the fence. Yeah. All right, so you're not getting away. You go high behind the wall, they'll run through the wall and get you. Yeah, that's why the so-called white man is proud. That's why he thinks he's never gonna go down. Because he trusts in his technology. But he don't, he don't, he's so stupid, he don't know. The Heavenly Father gave you the knowledge for your technology. He gave you that power. You know what, Father? Hey, no pictures, please. No, no. And oh, no. Yo, um, yeah. Hey, you know that smoking gun, right? That's the transmission? Yeah. There was one of them, it wasn't an astronaut, one of them uh, guys in the, in the space program, he used talking about the technology, the NASA technology, and he said that. He said this, he said, yeah, we had help. He said he had help. He said, yeah, we got help. Yeah. From the most high. But I, I believe that is from them demons, you know, because they, they pray them demons, and them demons will give them plans, you know, how to do, uh, set up, diagrams, the, yeah, diagrams, how to set up, uh, you know, certain inventions and stuff, how to deal with numbers, you know, when they do these, uh, so-called terrorist attacks, and even, um, even their, uh, these, uh, these, uh, meetings, these secret meetings, they do them all on certain dates, numerical dates, but they get that from Satan, you know? Like May 1st. Like May 1st. May Day. Yeah, 9-11 when that happened, the time of day it happened, the way that the builders were constructed to cap, you know, capture the sun when it rose and when it set. They, they get all the knowledge of all that from studying uh, ancient kingdoms, Babylonian kingdoms. And also they pray to demons and the demons will tell them how to set certain stuff up. You see? Yeah, so he actually said, he said, he said we didn't do it on our own. He said we had hope. Yeah. You know? yeah, they got certain power places, power points on the earth, like the Washington Monument, you know, uh, Stonehenge and stuff like that. New Haven, New Haven's a high, high yeah. power point. Over there by where Yale is, you know, because that's the Skull and Bones headquarters. You just drove, you, know, you, drive, you drive through there at night, man. You can't wait to leave, bro. It's like, it's like a demonic, man. It's like you in a scary movie. You know? Right. It says, it says, verse 9, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all powers and signs and lying wonders. Read that again, huh? It says, uh, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. Beautiful and tough. All right, for me? All right. It said, this is 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8. 
and then and then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. Once again, now the wicked is a so-called white man. Okay? And the so-called white man gets his power from Satan. That's who he worships, the devil. You see? Man, yeah, go ahead. It says, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Talking about when the when the Lord comes, he's coming in so-called UFOs. Okay? That's what that's talking about. Go ahead. It says, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Talking about Esau, the so-called white man. As I said, all the power that he gets, he gets it from Satan. Alright? You got more? No, that was it. What you got? What it's Isaiah 47 and 10. I'll start at um, 7. And thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever. You can, you can start from 1. All right. Isaiah 47 and 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Virgin daughter of Babylon. What is that talking about? The virgin daughter of Babylon is talking about America. Because as we've been bringing out pretty much this whole day, is that America follows all the rituals of our Babylon. Which one of these tribes did they brother? Okay. Go ahead. Sit on the ground. Yeah, America patterns itself after Babylon. Okay, go ahead. Sit on the ground. It's Sit on the ground meaning what? That the Most High is going to take America down. See, America is very high right now. The Most High is going to take them down. The way he's doing that, he's going to break them down spiritually, break down the spiritual infrastructure, okay? Then he's going to take down the armies, <coughs> physically, okay? Then he's physically going to take down uh, America, the land of America, via the nuclear missiles, okay? Go ahead. There's no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. For thou shalt no more be called tender and de delicate. The reason why America is known as tender and delicate is because there really has been no major wars fought here in America. You see? No outside attacks really on America, no major outside attacks. Okay? Go ahead, brother. Take the millstones and grind meal. Uncover thy locks, make bare the leg. Uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, the shame shall be seen. Yeah, that nakedness shall be uncovered, meaning the Most High is going to bring out the wickedness of America, of this kingdom. The things they're doing now, like look at now, America is in a very bad light right now. Mainly because of all the shooting, police shootings that they're putting out there on the internet. Oh, also because of this feminist agenda. Now, if you go to, if you go to other countries, you go on YouTube and you read other countries, you're like, damn, America, I would hate to be in America. Nothing but homosexuals running around, okay? The way the cops are treating Jake in America, the way women have power over men here in America. You know, you read the comments from these other countries, like, yo, that shit doesn't happen here. It better not come over, happen over here. So the shame of America is being seen all over the world, okay? And also through us, we bring it out, we're, we're the catalyst of all this dirt that's being brought out of America. We're saying our divide. You see? Through this word of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Okay? Because America was thought, is always thought about, or so-called founded on Christian, wholesome Christian beliefs. But we're bringing out that America is really found up on uh, witchcraft and Satanism. Okay? All the founding fathers of America were, were Masons. The major icon, the Statue of Liberty, was architected by a Mason and constructed. The engineer was a Mason, and, the, the, and the, the architect was a major was a Mason. Okay, all that dirt is being brought out about America through us. You see, all the presidents are Masons and homosexuals of America, and current, including the current one. Man, these people are dead, man. You know? Good. You got a question up? Um, earlier when you were saying that that like um like Esau basically like um they created like the demons yeah all these like devils whatever and they I guess they give him some type of power like to help him right. um could you explain um Isaiah uh, 45 6 to 7 for me because Isaiah 45 yeah um, um 6 to 7 because